everyone, welcome to the Wayfaring Panda. I'm Annette. Today I'm participating in a YouTube hop with the Facebook group Paper Crafting YouTubers. And our theme for the hop is all about the boys. My family doesn't have any boys, not even the dog. So I'm doing the St. Louis Cardinals. And this is the 2006 World Series. And my sister and I went down, down to the parade. And I figured this works because they're the boys of summer. So I'm using a Creative Memories cutting system to cut out the photos. I did just get a scan and cut, which I think would be easier for the paper, but not for the photos. So I'm using this pentagon shape because home base is the shape of a pentagon. And I'm using white cardstock to represent the bases. So you just look at the clear plastic to see what size you want. And then the different colors represent the sizes of the pentagon. So you can make a smaller one, which I use the blue, which is smaller. And the red one cuts it larger. This cutting system is old because we got all these things back when my aunt was a demonstrator in the 1990s and early 2000s. But I do believe that Creative Memory still makes and sells some of the cutting system. I was using this double-sided tape. I thought it would be easier than my Scotch ATG since it's so big. But I was having trouble with this one. Anyway, it's acid-free. Here I'm going to cut out a picture with a circle and you'll notice I make a huge mistake but I'm going to leave it in so hopefully you don't make this mistake. Anyway, I decided to use the circle because it's the shape of a baseball. And the picture, the first one I did was my sister holding up the newspaper so showing that the Cardinals won the World Series and now I'm cutting out a picture of one of the baseball players, they're not really good pictures and plus they're from 2006, so I have no idea who's in the photos. And here's my big mistake. I forgot to put the mat under my photo. And I also forgot to do it when I got to the white paper for the mat, I didn't notice. Now here I didn't do a complete cut, so I'm using it for my scissors. Now it's not until after I cut this mat that I notice that the cutting mat is not under my paper. I hope that didn't make you cringe. At least this was an inexpensive mat. That was stained already. And maybe it'll give me an excuse to get one of those nice glass mats that I've been wanting. And plus I have a new job. Then I just use a red micro pen to add some lines to make it look like stitching on a baseball. Although most of this gets covered up by the photo. And I'm just referring to these embellishments from photo play to see what the stitching looks like on a baseball. Then I just use my double sided tape again to adhere my photo to the baseball. And I was having trouble with this because it was actually running out of tape. Then I just used paper for my stash for the background paper. So I picked this red paper from Color Play, which it's part of the Disney World type series. It's called A Day at the Park. And then for, I'm going to do a double layout for this. And I used a black one because it went with my embellishment. So off screen, I used a pencil to draw a diamond shape to kind of refer back to the baseball diamond. And I'm just using this really thin white glitter washi tape. And I'm just putting that in a diamond shape to look like the shape of a baseball field. Then I'm just adding the photos that I already mounted. And I did three more in the shape of squares to represent the other bases. And put other pictures of the parade there. Now the photos, I couldn't always tell who was in the photos, but they had each of the main players on a pickup truck waving, and then they had a lot of the other baseball players and managers together, like on trolleys, or some of them were also on pickup trucks. And it was very crowded, so it was hard to get good pictures, so I just had to take whichever way they were facing at the time when they went by. For the pictures, I'm just using photo mounting squares, or sometimes they're called photo slits. 
I think those are really easy to use and they're inexpensive. And of course you can buy them acid free. I'm just using a banner stencil to draw a banner or you can draw a triangle. And I'm just using my thicker micro pen, my black one to trace it. And I'm using the thicker one just to give it more color. You can use whatever you have on hand. I didn't go in, buy anything for this page except for an embellishment that I'm going to use on my black page that I bought quite a long time ago. Then I'm just using another stencil to draw on some journaling lines because I can't write very clearly unless I have lines. And I'm just using a red marker for that so that I'll have the red and black color throughout my layout. Then I just do my journaling with my black marker and I'm just telling how my sister and I took the Metrolink downtown to the parade to celebrate the Cardinals winning the 2006 World Series against the Detroit Tigers. And that was really exciting because my cousins had grown up here in St. Louis also and when they were still like in middle school, they moved to Michigan and so they were our always diehard Cardinal fans. And they're also very diehard um, baseball and football fans. So they do watch all the Michigan teams and are very big fans of them, but they're definitely more for the Cardinals than the Tigers. And they've trained all their kids to be the same way. So the funny thing was, is when my cousin's kids were going to school, one of his boys would wear Cardinals shirts to school and he got teased until of course the Cardinals won then they quit teasing him. They also go to the Tiger games at the stadium and wear their Cardinals shirts when the Cardinals come to town. I decided to trim off the end of the pennant because I didn't like the two squares and also the paper didn't go straight there so I just cut that off. Now I'm trying to decide where I'm going to put the pennant and then this is a ticket that I have for riding the Metro Link downtown that day. I used the photo squares to attach my ticket to the page and then I used the tape runner to attach the pendant. Then I'm using my photo splits to attach two other photos that I trimmed down. I didn't mat these because I matted the ones that look like the bases on the baseball field. And I thought with the bright red paper, it really didn't need a mat. Then I'm just using my art glitter glue to attach this pennant that says champions to the bottom of the page. Next, I'm going to use this black and I think those two go really well together. I have this embellishment that came from Paper Wizard and that got a, that a few years ago when I was at the stamp and scrapbook Expo in Schaumburg, Illinois, and I thought about doing some of my Cardinals pictures using this. And it's kind of die cut paper that's layered. Sometimes there are things come where you have to glue it all together. This one was all put together, and they had different teams. So they had this one from the Cardinals, and so I'm going to put this at the top of my page. Now the photos I'm putting on, I already cut those off screen. And I used the die cutting system to cut out the circles like I did before in the ovals. And the bottom one on the left hand side I just did a partial oval and then left the bottom straight because I couldn't quite get all I wanted in an oval. So I also cut a little bit larger to do some journaling on some of my photos just to say what they were. At least the ones that I knew. So on this page the bottom left is showing the pickup truck that has the World Series champions trophy and then some people I don't know who they are probably owners and then on the top is one you may be very familiar with and that's the Clydesdales from Anheuser-Busch who owns the St. Louis Cardinals or at least they used to and um, so we have the Clydesdales at all the big St. Louis things, which I'm always proud of. If you don't live in St. Louis, you probably have seen them on commercials and also at the Rose Bowl Parade. And so they actually live very close to my house. I can walk to where the Clydesdales are. They're 
just in my subdivision actually so they're at grant's farm and the property where i live was actually owned by ulysses s grant the president at one point in time and this was part of this farm where i live but now it's a subdivision <laughs> of course the anheuser bush family owns part of grant's farm and that's where their house used to be but i think they're sold it off or whatever because the gen generation doesn't live there anymore anyway i have these die cuts or i don't know what they call embellishment things from color color play i think i bought these at the scrapbook convention or it could have been the one i went to in st louis right before the pandemic and i know they were old that's why most of my stuff is old but if you notice i'm going through all these and they're die cut lopsided so some of them don't even have the picture in them or not much or they're crooked so i'm trying to decide what fits what has the right colors and what isn't totally messed up i did expect them to be cheaper because they've been discontinued i did not expect these to be so messed up anyway I'm using what I can. And I forgot to mention the picture on the bottom right, of course, is a marching band. But that's from the marching band where I lived at Lindbergh High School. So, of course, I had to take a picture of that. Now, I decided to use the circle. And since the stars were cut off on one side, I just trimmed off the blue part. So, we didn't have stars on one side and nothing on the other. And gluing that on. I hope that you enjoyed this video, mistakes and all. If you liked it, please give it a like. And if you're not already a subscriber, I'd really appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel. I'll have a list of all the other participants in the description below. Have a wonderful day.